Red 2 standing by, all for Lita and in the green, welcome back to Yoshi's Story. If you're choosing to follow through by uh, watching every episode in production order, this is where you've ended up. We have page 1, level 2, surprise today. This will start our story off with slightly different approaches. Each of the four levels in page one actually tell a different story and set the Yoshi's journey off in different ways. It is interesting to note that due to the fact there are six levels with four possible combinations, assuming you get all the uh, special hearts, I believe there are 4096 arrangements in which the levels can be played, which is pretty impressive when you think about it. It's still not spectacular because they're a bit easy. At first, some of them do introduce some tougher mechanics, but let's tell our story with surprise. So, because I'm starting again, we have to reveal our lucky fruit. It's bananas this time, which means I can use one of the blue Yoshis, but there will be grapes for some of the main playthroughs. So... As we mentioned, there's our favourite fruit. Are there any secrets in our patchwork trees? This level style was used for Yoshi's story in Super Smash Bros. Melee. So there's a wiggler down there that we can't really do that much about with eggs. But if we jump on all his body segments, he leaves behind a melon. Very generous and very tasty. Well, we've nearly found something. What have we got? Just a couple of coins. Oh well, not too bad. I don't think we can actually go down those pipes. But we get our instructions as well, topping off our smile meter because we have a lucky fruit. Let's load up on eggs and see what we can find. S 12 lucky fruits and 6 ordinary fruits in every course. All courses have 30 melons. These, are these favourite fruits are worth 100 hearts. Eat a lot of them to be happy. So watch out for these things which look kind of like pine cones. Pine cones cross with a weird spider thing. Nothing happens if we ground pound here, but we have a lot of shy guys in a tree. And a melon. Yummy. Question mark switch. Step on it and look around to see what changed. Hurry, it won't last long. So, we get a switch. We can jump up these clouds using our flutter jump. And there's our first special heart. Not too bad. If we're very quick, we'll be able to get that and once like it throughout the game. Here's another wiggler thingy. Which does not give us a melon. How strange. Observe there that we have changed the colours of the Shy Guys, but also be warned, Yoshi's jumps are very floaty, so you can often wind up overshooting and falling to your death because you miscalculated a jump somewhere along the way. Whoops, jumped right into his head. But we get to top up our health with a melon, and I'm sure there's plenty more we can find around here. Keep sniffing. Must be on the other side of this. Or here, just a couple of coins. Well, not too bad, they contribute a little bit to our score. Still, it's a nice little find. If we hit this, we'll get a 
couple more fruit. We can find some more special hearts later on. If we go in here, we will be able to use this to make a vase appear. What's inside? What is inside is something I'm not very good at. Special delivery. Ground pound to load up the melon boxes, then carry them to the finish. Now, maybe if I face this way and let them fall backwards. Let them fall that way. Whoa! I didn't realize jumping did that. Should have seen if I could actually eat them. Oh well. That would have been a good chance to get seven melons, but we'll still find plenty of fruit here. A couple of shy guys in a tree, and they'll run away. Notice how we're invincible when we get the happy fruit. And we've even turned the shy guys in the trees into our lucky fruit. Finally got past that one. Oh, yeah, see, Yoshi moves so quickly in the air. It's very easy to wind up falling off the edge. If you're not careful, you can very easily overshoot small platforms. But we'll be alright. There's our second Miss Warp, but we'll find our special fruit beyond here. I believe we will anyway. Now that box can be pushed, we can ground pound it as well. If we break it open, what do we find? Just a melon. Poochie has found something for us. Just a couple of coins. This one doesn't actually show. Doesn't actually break when we ground pound it. What's happening here? Why we have to shoot it with an egg? And we can defeat that enemy by letting the air out of its sails. That gives us a melon. And let's eat this guy. Radio, so we can't push that up hills. What is above us? Nothing that I can see. Okay, so they can walk straight through the boxes if it's not there. That's a melon. I'll keep that on hand. This is... This is a balloon boom. If we ride its head up high, we'll be able to get some coins. And a special heart. Let's keep it right up high. And land safely. It'll eventually deflate. So we can push up or down to move the control stick in that direction. There's a butterfly to restore our health. And Shy Guys on Pogo Sticks, which we can eat. Pogo Stick and all. Ooh, I can't imagine how that would taste for Yoshi. Anyway, we eat them. And we can be invincible again. To create a banana bonanza. to make sure I'm not actually invincible when I ground pound these? No, there is absolutely nothing in them. Okay, because that... The mystery for me now is, where is the last special heart? I think it's just a bit easier if I eat it. Hmm? 
Apparently Miss Warp smells good. Well, that was not supposed to happen. Let's quickly get back by demonstrating how Miss Warp works. Away we go. Ah, not again. Okay, that's a little bothersome because there is something where Miss Warp is, but I have to get my ground pound just right so I don't land on her. This could be a little fiddly. But I'm determined to find out what this secret is. It's right where she is. Requires a very, obviously requires a very precise jump. That's weird. That's really weird. I can't lick her to make her move out of the way. That really sounds wrong. Hmm. What else do I have to do? This can be moved. What am I looking to do with this? What can I find in this? Absolutely nothing. Huh. So this is another enemy. Unfortunately, the way I've got my recordings... The way I've got my recording set up makes it very hard to hear the special chimes of the shiny hearts. find anything there. Maybe it's the other way. So those are Huffin' Puffins. They'll help you out along the way too. What do I get? Just coins there. You have to be very careful with how quickly everything scrolls off screen. It's a little strange. What do we get? Just coins. We've got, we've had plenty of surprises at least. Just more coins. And another melon. Now where, now that should take us back to the start of the level. But I have to find that other special heart. How unusual. I can't really easily hear the chimes that indicate when a special heart is nearby. Maybe the f Huff and Puffin, we're here to help. My kids are eager to help you on your quest. So we replace them with... We replace our eggs with Huff and Puffins and we might be able to get somewhere. So we now have a huge supply of kidnapped babies. What can I use? Hmm. Huh. 
They go in all sorts of odd directions. They are very unusual indeed. I guess I'll just have to find out where the... where the different special hearts are because I've got two. I would very much like to find the third, but we could be roaming here for a very long time. And we have found everything in the level. So, it's mostly just wandering around. We don't have the balloon boo nearby, unfortunately. We'll just have to explore a little more. Yeah, whatever it is, Miss Warp has actually... All that just for two coins. Man! That's a little rough. That is very unfortunate indeed. There we are, we've defeated that enemy. But it's just a melon. Nothing there. Just a melon. And this is just more coins. It's a real mystery. It seems like we've only got coins to work with. I'm sure we do. Yes, a lot of a lot of these seem to wind up yielding A lot of these do seem to just They just yield coins and I thought we'd have found something by now. Admittedly, that's half the problem with me playing blind. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. Do you give me something? So, we've defeated that guy. Letting the air out of him. It's just all special heart. It's just all melons. There are no special hearts that I can find. Still, I think we're ready to move on by now. We probably should get going because I've been exploring and I can't find the surprise I want. That respawns really fast. I can't find the surprise I want, but that's okay. We don't always get that. We'll go back and grab another piece of fruit. We'll eat that, this one here, get our fruit salad together, and that completes the level. It's a little sad I couldn't find exactly what I wanted, but I am playing blind, so we've got to make adjustments for that. Anyway, let's get to our score. Not too bad. We did alright on that one, all things considered. We got some very nice surprises, and sadly missed out on one. But we've once again moved on. The story had barely started. To find happiness, the Yoshis needed to hurry. Balloon monsters tried to slow them down, but the Yoshis kept moving. Now the Yoshis were a little closer to finding the super happy tree. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier. Thanks for watching along with the Yoshi Story Project. To follow the next episode, just stick along with the playlist. Or if you like, turn the page over, and you can customise your own Yoshi Story experience by picking a level from the next page. Whichever way you choose, I hope you enjoy the project. Thank you very much for joining me on this adventure. Till next time, this is Red2, returning to base.